What is up my crazy subscriber, this is Joe King John 74 and today I'm here to post up another badass gameplay from Call of Duty Vanguard. Today I managed to use the STG assault rifle and I managed to go 140 kills exactly with the STG. And by the way, this was like maybe like a day after I went 142 kills with the MG42. So uh, most of the time you'll see me running around with the MG42 if you ever bump into me in this game, like I'm, because I'm in the PS5. so. Uh, if you ever bump into me in the, in, online and everything, you should be able to see me using the LMG most of the time. But in rare occasions, I switched out to the STG because I wanted to test it out to see how well it worked. And well, it did a hell of a job, bro. Like, it's so strong <laughs> against people at mid-range combat because there's no way you can hit, like, anybody at long range because it's not that far. You know, maybe you play, like, on the, uh, the snow map or whatever. Yeah, that's a lot of long-range combat. But this is mostly mid-range combat, which means the bullets in this gun are going to be so consistent. It takes like maybe two bullets to take down an enemy. And it's pretty good because you're going to see a bunch of them coming back to back. And you need that extra bullet to keep on churning, you know, to keep on mowing down enemies like crazy. So uh, in order to keep that going, increase the damage, increase the range, increase the accuracy. And you should be able to see like a wave of enemies just go down like crazy. And you'll see it a bunch of times in this gameplay. And it's so fun. And uh, another thing I want to mention is that I know some of you guys have been thinking like maybe I'm hacking and uh, you know because especially with the MG42. The MG42 has the perk piercing vision. I know I got that wrong with my last commentary about the MG42 and I called I called it like per precision vision or something like that. It's called piercing vision. Piercing vision allows you to see through the walls. If there's an enemy in the corner or whatever if you shoot him maybe like a feet or two away from them it should be able to label them through the wall and everything and you should see like all of the all of their body in red so that is kind of like wall hacks right there and it's not my fault that's part of the game can't blame me for that because yesterday i got someone looking at me looking how i went like 20 and no like right off the bat like in the first two minutes of the game and he was looking at me i'm like bro i'm not hacking that's part of the game they put a freaking perk that allows you to wall hack bro so um so yeah like i know some of you guys are thinking of that well this time around i managed to do it with all the piercing vision because it's not really necessary for the nstg like i know this gun can take down an enemy within two bullets compared to the mg2 uh, the mg40 or whatever 24 <laughs> i keep forgetting the damn name there's too many numbers so um so anyways like yeah like the, that's the reason why i don't use it for this gun because i know it's super strong i know it can take down enemies within a few seconds so why would i need it for this gun i really don't care like I, I know it's gonna be the same amount of damage as a headshot every single time so just watch the gameplay in the background and you should be able to see you should be able to see how much damage it does like in a huge wave of enemies so uh, so yeah man the sdg has been op since the alpha and the beta like even in Champion Hill, when it first came out for the Alpha, um, I liked the STG because of how accurate it was, even without attachment. So I'm pretty sure this will be one of the first guns that's gonna get nerfed, like around the month of December. You know, when the Christmas news come around, there's gonna be a huge update. I'm pretty sure of it, or if not, towards the end of the season of the Battle Pass. But either way, there's gonna be a huge update, and I'm pretty sure the STG is gonna go rip you know it's gonna be it's gonna be like nerfed to hell and i know how nerfing goes with call of duty if something is so strong against snipers they're gonna nerf it to hell so stg is the first one to go for sure and some of the shotguns too they're gonna go for sure and it's gonna turn into an smg game so uh, prepare for that type of change but for right now you guys want to increase your kds you guys want to keep your distance against shotgun users because you know shotgun users right now are ruling the game they really are not ruining they're ruling the game because well, it takes a few a few shots to kill them. <laughs> so you kind of want to force them out of the comfort zone and just keep your distance and use the STG or the MG42 and you should be just fine because they're not going to be able to get you. They can't snipe you with a shotgun unless they use slugs. That's about it, but you got to be very lucky with a slug, you know. I've freaking tried it and it's super hard to use, so I'm not going to be using the slugs. So um, it's pretty rare you see me with a shotgun, by the way. But, uh, but yeah, you know, just keep your distance with the STG and the MG42 and you're going to be shutting down lanes like crazy. They'd rather go the opposite way because they know it's going to be someone there with a long range weapon. They can't even get close to it unless they use their riot shield for the first time ever in their life. So, and another big plus about this gameplay, I did this against an entire clan. So, um, and by the way, my whole team, uh, I think the second highest one was uh, 88 kills while I reached 140 kills. So, you guys can give me a lot of props for that. So, 
it's crazy. I never thought I was going to reach over 100 kills like several times already in freaking Call of Duty in such a short amount of time. Because the fastest I ever reached 100 kills was maybe like to the month of February. Like maybe like four months after release or three months. This time it just took me like within a few weeks of release. So I'm like, what the hell? So that means I can achieve 100 kills per week or even daily. It's insane. Like, I was about to give up on COD until this happens. <laughs> so... So yeah, like, it, it's insane, like, it's crazy, dude, like, I don't know, the most times I ever achieved, like, 100 kills in a short, short, short time, like, short time, amount of time, it was, like, maybe, like, in Black Ops 4, and that was, like, maybe, like, within a month, I got, like, five different gameplays with 100 kills, this one, I have a few, like, it's insane, like, I'm about to reach 100 kills, like, every single time I play this game. So that is it guys, if you guys want to see more Call of Duty Vanguard, make sure you leave a like and a comment, I'll tell you guys what happened, so... Um, later on, I'll be posting up the best class of the STG, so uh, be ready for that over the next few days. So that is it. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time.